Hi and welcome, I'm Rev. Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad you joined us here today from Metaphysical Ministry International. Metaphysics, what in the world is metaphysics? Well, it's all about the fact that what you can tell and experience in the world using your five senses, that's less than 1% of what really and totally exists. So the metaphysical world takes you beyond those five senses to the bigger picture of reality. You are becoming a multi-sensory being. The whole human race is evolving toward that now. So you'll be aware of things. You've probably already noticed that you didn't used to be able to tell that you can't see or hear or taste or smell or taste or touch. We begin every week with a happy share. We have a really, really cool happy share this week. See, the last week and a half, I had a major health crisis, and it was something that was really, really scary to me. In fact, I'm going to go and tell you all about it, because it's also showing you what happens when you ask, you will always receive. So a week and a half ago, suddenly, out of the blue, one of my breasts suddenly became very large, very red, looked like somebody had painted it red, swollen, very, very painful, and full of large lumps. Well, it happened like instantly one afternoon. You can imagine that scared the heck out of me. And it was late on a Thursday afternoon. I don't know about where you live, but around here, a lot of the doctors are closing their offices early afternoon, many of them not coming in until the following Monday. The first person I called was a naturopath, and she said, I can't help you now, but be seen by a medical doctor. It kind of scared me when she said that, but what really scared me was when she said, is it okay if I pray for you? Pray for me. Ooh, yeah, definitely scared me. I then called the nurse practitioner I see for female issues, and well, she wasn't available, and she wasn't going to be available to Monday, but her assistant said, go right now, even if you have to go to an urgent care place, you've got to see a doctor right away. Okay, so that scared me even further. I did make an appointment with the osteopath I see sometimes for the following day. Yay, somebody who was actually in on a Friday. And when I saw him, well, he knew, as I knew, there was an infection, but he also felt a whole lot of really large lumps, both in the breast and also up in the lymph nodes. So, of course, that scared me even more. See, here's the thing when you live by yourself, which I love to do 99.9% .9 of the time. But when something scares you, there's nobody there saying, it's okay. There's nobody there calming you. There's nobody there to drive you someplace if you're nervous. And there's nobody there to make the phone calls for you. you got to do it all yourself. Well, I believe everything happens perfectly and for a beautiful and divine reason. So I did take care of myself. It was obviously an infection. And I put out to the universe that this is only an infection. And I asked my friends for help to see it as just an infection that can be cured by antibiotics, something which I do not like to take, but you know what? It was an infection. I'm a healthcare practitioner. Infections can kill very quickly. You don't fool around with them. So, after being on the medicine for just a couple of days, things started to quiet down. Still felt a little lumpy, but then I went back and called the naturopath who I had called in the first place, and she said, sure, I can see you. And we made an appointment, and I went to see her last Friday. She did what's called thermography. Thermography is just taking your body's temperatures all over. It's completely non-invasive. It takes into account your entire history from the time you were born. It's getting your entire body because your body exists in relationship one part to the other. And it also has about an 80% accuracy in predicting breast health. Whereas a mammogram that provides radiation has a 45% degree of accuracy. Let's see, so, hmm, do I want to endanger myself further? And I was in way too much pain to get one of those. 
or do I want to go back and have what I have had before so I know it's not going to disturb anything about me. And that's what I opted to do. I went and I got the thermograph done. Now here's what's completely amazing. It's a very, very long intake process, at least it is with my naturopath. And we were sitting there literally talking for well over an hour, getting a very complete, very detailed history. And it came up, the subject came up, that I'm a healer, that I'm a specialized kinesiology, which she didn't realize, and much to my surprise, so is she. Here's what's uh, totally amazing. She said to me, you know, you had this thing happen with your breasts because we had to get you in here to see me because I need your help. And to that, I added, you know what, I need your help. I asked the universe to bring someone to me who could help me heal who have not been able to heal the paralyzed parts of me that still aren't functioning from the brain surgery. Guess what she told me? She had recently worked with a man who was paralyzed half of his body from a stroke. Okay? Paralyzed. Couldn't feel. Couldn't function. She had him up and walking. Assisted, but still up and walking. So I knew, as she said, we were supposed to get together and we're all set, fast becoming friends, definitely colleagues to refer to one another. We'll be working on each other. So my prayers were answered, unbeknownst to me, so were hers. So the universe works in really, really interesting ways. And the most important piece of all of that is, well, I guess there are two pieces. One, ask for what you want because the universe will bring it to you. And you need to be open and allowing to receive it. And two, breast health is dependent upon you nurturing yourself, obviously. It's not obvious because men can get breast cancer too. When you don't take care of your own personal needs, when you don't fuel your own self, your own soul, your own spirit, you will develop health issues. You will develop some kind of dis-ease in your breasts. So the universe was doing two things with me. It was telling me, yaho, you have not been taking care of yourself, you've not been having enough fun, and you've not been just flat out relaxing. Okay, I knew that. And it was also letting me know, hey, you've been asking for help, and I've got the help for you. So, please take care of yourself, take care of your health, breast cancer, or any kind of breast discomfort, breast condition. It's important to take care of yourself because usually you can't tell there's something going on if you're not taking care of yourself. It doesn't usually come, bam, head on with pain and swelling and hot and all that kind of stuff. Trust that the universe is always taking care of you in every moment. Because when you trust, then you can see, you can be aware of, you can tell what messages are coming from the universe. Pay attention. Always pay attention. Obviously, the universe had to get very loud with me. I hadn't been paying attention to the whispers. And thankfully, the crisis was averted. And it was averted for all the reasons I mentioned so far, and also a big reason, because I asked everybody I knew to send me light, to say prayers, to send me lots of love. And as I felt better, those lumps... They disappeared completely. If you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page that says, Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is about taking a vision that somebody else has, of something they want to create in their life, and seeing them living it, manifesting it. So sometimes it might be wanting to have a new car, or it might be some new friends, or maybe it would be they want to take a course and they don't know where that course is taught, or a spiritual group where they can just sit around and talk and share and grow. Whatever it is, if there's something you want in your life you don't have now, 
So you scroll down there and you fill in your name and what it is you'd like to have in your life. Not only will it appear down there for everyone to see, but it will also appear up there on the Holy Space page. You come back at least once a week and you tell everyone you know to do so. You read each name and each item that people have asked us to hold the space for. The universe knows who the people are. You don't have to know. And what you're doing is creating a bigger thought form for those people to have their vision become reality. The universe can more easily see the power of the bigger thought form and bring it to the person sooner when it's in their highest and best interest, which is called divine timing. I thank you so very much for coming by today, for joining us, and please, please, please share the video because a message about health, everybody needs to know this. The fact is, the very troubling fact is, a woman dies from breast cancer every 12 minutes. I don't know about you, but I suspect your world is about like mine. I've lost more friends to breast cancer than I can count on one hand. Enjoy a wonderful week. Nurturing yourself, whether you're a man or a woman, Nurture you. Blessing.